In this video, we will look at a few examples to practice working with problems that have to do with permutations with repetitions in them. In example A, it says, in how many ways can we arrange the letters in the word tooth? Remember that when it says arrange, that's your clue that it's a permutation problem. So what we're going to do is take the word tooth and rearrange the letters in order to see what other words we could make. So tooth has five letters in it, and if all five letters were different, the number of ways to do this would be 5P5, because we're picking and arranging five letters from the set of five letters in the word. But the problem with this is we will be counting some words twice. In fact, we'll be counting all words multiple times. That's because there are two O's in tooth, and there are also two T's in tooth. And we won't be able to tell the difference between the two O's. So if I took, for example, the two O's that as they are right now and switched them, it would look like the same word, tooth. So we have to take our 5P5 and divide by two factorial, two different times, to account for the repetitions. So we divide by two factorial to account for the two T's and also two factorial to divide or to account for the two O's. Now we just have to calculate this and we'll get our answer. You can use your calculator or you can do it out by hand. 5P5 is 120. Two factorial just means two times one, which is just two. So on the bottom we have two times two, which is four. And 120 divided by four is 30. So that will be our answer. There are 30 different ways that we could arrange the letters in the word tooth to form a new word. In example B, it says, how many different five letter arrangements can be formed from the word apple? So again, this is a word that has five letters in it. And two of the letters are repeated, the P and the P. So if there were no repeated letters, our answer would just be 5P5. But because there are two P's, we divide by two factorial in order to count for the repetitions. So just like last time, 5P5 is 120 and two factorial is two. So our answer will be 60 different ways or 60 different five letter arrangements can be formed from the word apple. In example C, it says, how many different six digit numerals can be written using the following seven digits? Assume the repeated digits are all used. And we have seven digits here and we're picking and arranging six of them. So our basic permutation would just be seven P six. So picking and arranging six numbers from a set of seven. But now the issue is some of these will be repeated. We have two threes, and also three fours. So we have to take our answer and divide by two factorial and also three factorial to account for the repetitions. Now we just have to calculate this out. And this time I'm going to show you how to do this by expanding out our permutation and factorials. So seven P six will be seven times six times five times four times three times two. And on the bottom, two factorial is two times one and three factorial is three times two times one. Now what we can do is see if there's anything we can cancel out that's the same on the top and the bottom. So for example, there's a three on the top and the bottom and also a two. I also see that four divided by two is two so I can cancel those and change this to a two. And that just simplifies the multiplication. You don't have to worry about the ones because one times one is just one and that's fine. So now all we actually have to do is multiply seven times six times five times two to get our answer. And our answer is 420. So there are 420 different six digit numerals that can be written using these digits if the repeated digits are all used.